Hey guys, so today I'm filming a very, very exciting, highly requested video on my ColourPop must-haves. You guys know I'm a true ColourPop addict. I mention them in just about every monthly haul. I've done several views, several tutorials. I talk about ColourPop all the time. And just so you guys know, I have never been sent anything from ColourPop. I have purchased everything myself unfortunately. The way that I will know that I've made it in YouTube is if I ever get on the ColourPop PR list. That would be amazing. I would save so much money. <sighs> A girl can dream. What's even more exciting about this video is that I'm doing it in collaboration with my YouTube bestie Ami from AM Beauty Life. I'll have her channel and her video linked down below. Please make sure you go check her out. Ami is actually the person that introduced me to ColourPop. The first person I ever saw do a video on it was Danny from Coffee Break with Danny, but I kind of just thought, oh, okay, they sound nice. But then my friend Ami had purchased some and she did a swatch video and I about fainted. I was so blown away with the beautiful colors and pigmentation. So back in the day, about two summers ago, I think is when ColourPop came to be as a brand. And at that time, they only had eyeshadows. And that is when I purchased from them. And then that November holiday season is when they came out with lippy pencils and lippy sticks, and then so on and so forth with all these other amazing products and shade extensions. I am so, so excited about all the products ColourPop has to offer. So if you guys would like to hear my thoughts on any of ColourPop products, please check the description box because I will be linking all of my reviews. I have done a review on every single ColourPop product except for their sculpting sticks. I have not purchased those yet, but I definitely will and I will let you know my thoughts on those then. So in my lippy stick review, I had only tried out the glossy satin and matte finishes. Since then, I've tried out the hyper glossy, the cream, the sheer, and the matte X. Let me know if you would like a review on those four finishes or if you think just that one lippy stick review is good enough. I also have tutorials with most of my ColourPop favorites, so I will have all of my ColourPop tutorials linked down below as well. So the description box is going to be mighty full. Please make sure you check it out for a lot of information. So I did not want to put a specific number on this video. I didn't want to do my top 10 ColourPop products because that would just be too impossible and I didn't want to leave out any of my favorites. So I have five eyeshadows, two blushes, four lip liners, 10 lippy sticks, three ultra matte lips, and two ultra satin lips. I did not mention the highlighters, the bronzers, or the liners because they aren't must-have products for me. So I'm just going to jump right in with the eyeshadows. So like I said, I do have five eyeshadow favorites from ColourPop. I have a ton of ColourPop eyeshadows, and I am very ashamed to admit that some of those I haven't even worn on my eyes yet. I've only swatched. So after a couple months, I might have new ColourPop must-have eyeshadows once I've tried out more of those. That needs to be a specific goal for me. The first shade I have is Get Lucky. This is a liquid-like true gold in an ultra metallic finish. And here is a swatch of Get Lucky. Next I have Sequin, which is described as a copper penny-like shade with silver and gold glitter. This is a metallic finish. And here is a swatch of Sequin. Then I have Boy Band, which is described as an intense red copper and an ultra metallic finish. This is a discontinued shade. It was part of the Fall 2015 collection. Here's a swatch of Boy Band. In my last two shadows, I like to wear as a combo. I wear the shimmery shade on the lid and the matte shade in the crease. Amaze is described as a metallic rose gold with multicolored, multidimensional glitter in a metallic finish. And here is a swatch of Amaze. Bill is a muted plum beige with a matte finish. And here is a swatch of Bill. This look holds a special place in my heart because these are the shadows I was wearing when I found my wedding dress. 
So the ColourPop shadows come in a lot of different finishes, but my favorites would definitely be the Ultra Metallic and the Pearlized because they are super duper pigmented and shiny, but they are smooth. Those finishes do not have any glitter chunks in them. I do have a couple metallic shades featured because the colors are so beautiful, but the metallic finishes tend to have pieces of glitter which do fall out on my face. I don't have any fallout throughout the day, just right after I've applied it and then I just take a brush and brush it right off my face and go on about the day so it isn't a big deal. I have a couple different matte finish shades in my collection and the reason I have them is because the colors are so so beautiful but they are not the easiest formula to work with. I feel like the shimmers are just so much easier to just slap on your lid with your finger but with the mattes if you want to apply them in the crease that's when you have a little bit more trouble. Also as you can see I have hit pan on this one and once you get down this far in the product I feel like it starts to get a little more creamy and a little gummy so it gets even trickier to work with it just becomes a different interesting formula so now I'm going to show you the brushes that I use to apply the ColourPop eyeshadows my go-to method for applying ColourPop shadows on my lid is using a sponge tip applicator yes the sponge tip applicators that we all hate on and throw in the garbage I purchased this little set from Ulta and I have a bunch of them in here some used some unused and I've actually written the names of the shadows on these so I can just use the same one over and over again with one particular shade. So I will apply one layer with the sponge tip applicator to get the precision, make sure it gets right up to my crease without going into the crease. It just helps keep the look from getting messy. Then I will apply a second layer with my finger to really pack the punch of intensity and shimmer. So definitely recommend applying them that way. Now recently I did try applying the shade Belladonna Lily, which is a matte finish from their spring collection. I applied it it on my lid with a brush and it actually worked. I applied it with the MAC 242 shader brush. It went on so well. I have not yet used this with any other shadow. I need to use this with my other ColourPop shadows and see how it applies those because if I find an actual brush that works, I would prefer to use that over a sponge tip applicator, but do what works best for you. That's just what I found that works for me. And the brush I use to apply ColourPop shadows in my crease would be this RC Cosmetics Precision Round Top Brush. This is a dupe for the Sigma P82, which I do own, except I prefer the RC Cosmetics because it has longer bristles and it isn't as stiff. So this blends out a lot better than the Sigma brush. So, so I highly recommend this brush if you are looking to apply ColourPop shadows in your crease. So now moving on to ColourPop blushes. I have eight in my collection and I have two of them in my favorites video and that's because I love these shades. The ColourPop blush formula is nice, but I much, much, much prefer using powder blush I feel like they're just so much easier to work with, but I really love these shades and I wanted to feature them. The ColourPop blushes come in two different finishes, matte and satin. I'm going to show you one of each. Holiday is a true mid-tone peachy pink and a matte finish. Here is a swatch of the blush in Holiday. Cheerio is a deep cranberry and a satin finish. And here is a swatch of Cheerio. So the reason that I don't have more of these blushes mentioned my favorites is because they are a bit harder to work with. Today on my cheeks I'm wearing Holiday which does have nice pigmentation but the texture is so stiff I have a hard time really picking up the product on my brush. The best brush I have found to work with those blushes is the Real Techniques Buffing Brush because this is a more flat, slightly round brush and it is so dense and it is the duo fiber type brush. It picks up the product really well and helps really pack it on the cheek. So even when I use this brush, I do usually still have to apply a couple layers, but this is the best brush I have found to apply these blushes. So now for my favorite lippy pencils. I own nine total, but four of them I would absolutely consider to be must-haves. Aquarius is a soft nude pink. Here's a swatch of the lippy pencil in Aquarius. Bound is described as a mid-tone nude pink. This is a dupe for the MAC lip liner in Whirl. Here's a swatch of the lippy pencil in Bound. Polite Society Lippy Pencil is described as a warm nude. Here is a swatch of the Lippy Pencil in Polite Society. 
Ellery Lippy pencil is described as a blackened violet. And here's a swatch of the Lippy pencil in Ellery. I absolutely love the ColourPop Lippy Pencil formula. It is so creamy. It glides onto the lips. I can use these to line or fill in my lips completely. I find that with most lip liners, they feel too heavy and cakey if I try to fill in my lips, but the ColourPop lip liners work perfectly for that. I do not have a very defined lip line, so in order to keep my lip color looking perfected, that's why I use lip liner. I don't use lip liner to keep my lip product in place. Moving on to lippy sticks, I own about a million, but I do have 10 must-have shades. Nine of the 10 are matte finishes because matte finishes are just my favorite. I love the way they feel and the finish. It isn't a super duper drying matte. It is more of a creamy matte finish, which I love. I do have one glossy finish and the only reason that is mentioned as a must have is because of the shade and I do pair it with a lip liner. Bound is a light nude pink in a glossy finish. Here's a swatch of the lippy stick in Bound. As you can see, the lippy pencil in Bound is a lot deeper. I like to use the lippy pencil to outline my lips and fill in the corners to create a really pretty ombre look. I don't love the Bound lippy stick on its own, but with the matching lip liner, it's a perfect combo. Westy is a soft, dusty baby pink in a matte finish. Here's a swatch of the lippy stick in Westy. I also love wearing this either on its own or paired with the Lippy Pencil and Bound. Pepper is a discontinued shade that was part of the Spring 2015 collection. This is a pink tone purple lavender shade in a matte finish. Here's a swatch of the Lippy Stick in Pepper. Contempo is a mid-tone dusty rose in a matte finish. Here's a swatch of the Lippy Stick in Contempo. Lumiere is a dusty mauve pink in a matte finish. This was created by Kathleen Lights. And here is a swatch of the Lippy Stick and Lumiere. My next Lippy Stick is my all-time favorite ColourPop Peach Lippy Stick. If you guys haven't seen my ColourPop Spring 2016 collection review video, it will be linked down below. In that video, you can see me swatch this shade compared to the other maybe eight peach ColourPop lippy sticks I own. I have been on the hunt for the perfect ColourPop peach lippy stick. None of those work for me. They're either too orange, too light, too brown, not enough pink tones to it. The shade Hype Girl has the perfect amount of peach tones and pink tones. Hype Girl is described as a soft coral nude in a matte finish. Here's a swatch of the lippy sticks in Hype Girl. Brink is described as a warm, dusty taupe in a matte finish. On my skin tone, this shows up as a light terracotta. Here is a swatch of the Lippy Stick in Brink. Tootsie is described as a cool tone gray beige in a matte finish. Here is a swatch of the ColourPop Lippy Stick in Tootsie. Grunge is described as a cool tone plum brown in a matte finish. On my lips, this shows up as a very terracotta brown. Here's the swatch of the ColourPop Lippy Sticks in Grunge. Lady is described as a cool tone dirty burgundy in a matte finish. Here's a swatch of the ColourPop Lippy Stick in Lady. I love pairing this with the Ellery Lippy Pencil. I will line and fill in the outer corners of my lips with Ellery and then fill in my entire lip with Lady. Moving on to the Ultra Matte Lip, I do have several different shades, but I only have three must-haves. Two of these are in the old formula and one is in the new formula. Now I know I'm in the minority, but I definitely prefer the old formula to the new. The old formula does feel a little bit drying, but it does dry down completely. With the new formula, I do have a little bit of transfer and I don't find that they wear as well. So I will continue to purchase some of the Ultra Matte Lips 
with this new formula if I really like this shade, but I'm really happy that I have two of my must-haves in the old formula. One bummer about the Ultra Mattes and the Ultra Satins is that they dry darker on the lips than they look in the tube, and with most of the shades I own, I fell in love with the color in the tube, so when I saw it on my lips, I didn't love it as much, but with these three shades, still totally in love. Solo is described as a neutral nude pink, on my skin tone, this shows up as a muted salmon. Here's a swatch of ColourPop Ultra Matte Lip in Solo. Clueless is described as a dusty mauve pink. And here's a swatch of the ColourPop Ultra Matte Lip in Clueless. Lastly, we have Lumiere 2. This one does not actually have a color description. It just says it is Lumiere's new sister, but the Lumiere lippy stick is described as a dusty mauve pink. Here's a swatch of the Ultra Matte Lip in Lumiere 2. As you can see, compared to Clueless, this one it is deeper and it has a bit more purple tones. And lastly, I have two Ultra Satin Lips. Now, I definitely prefer the Ultra Satin Lip Formula over the new Ultra Matte Lip Formula. It is super duper opaque and it feels a lot more comfortable and it's still very long wearing. Even though this doesn't completely dry down and it does transfer, I still like this formula better than the new Ultra Matte Lip. However, I don't love the shade variety of the Ultra Satin Lip, so I'm definitely looking forward to them releasing more shades. Dopey is described as a dusty mauve. Here's a swatch of the Ultra Satin Lip in Dopey. As you can see, it is comparable to Lumiere 2, but Lumiere 2 is deeper, a little bit more cool tone. It has some more purple tones to it. Molly is described as a mid-tone plum lilac. And here's a swatch of the Ultra Satin Lip in Molly. So guys, those are all of my must-have ColourPop products. Please, please, please leave a comment down below letting me your must-haves. Maybe we have some of the same. Maybe some of the things you'll mention I have in my collection but have neglected. And maybe some of the things that you will mention I will now need to buy off the website. Please make sure you go check out Ami's video. I know you guys will not be disappointed. I love Ami's videos so much and I absolutely credit her with my addiction for ColourPop. So thanks a lot, Ami. Thank you all so much for watching this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe and I'll talk to you soon. Bye guys.